Hello everyone and welcome to a very exciting new Wolf Quest series. That's right, we are back for another round of Wayfinders because Wolf Quest has just released a new map. Now I do want to explain something as we jump into this because I'm going to do something a little bit interesting. So the name of this map is Hell Roaring Mountain and I'm going to be calling it The Roaring Mountain. Now, I don't have anything against the name. Some of them are just a little bit spicier than normal, but I, YouTube has sometimes not liked those spicier names. So just to play it a little bit safe, we're going to be calling it The Roaring Mountain. But that's its full name. <laughs> I wanted to get that out of the way. We're also going to be playing as Lark here. Lark is actually the final pup from the first litter of Eden and Raven. That's right, we have had now five first generation Wayfinders. Well, first generation, second generation. I don't know, I can't do numbers. <laughs> uh, second generation Wayfinders. Uh, and Lark will be starting the final story from this very first litter. It's amazing how far we have come, but let's not waste any more time. I'm sure you guys are very eager to be exploring this new map. Uh, I'm very eager to be checking it out as well, and as you know, as expected, spoilers may abound, so if you want to play the map for yourself, you don't want things to be spoiled for you, then maybe check that out first. There will be a link in the video description, but if you are curious, then let's go ahead and jump right in. So, of course, you are a gray wolf born in the northern range of Yellowstone National Park. You learn the ways of the wolf in your birth pack. Now that you're two years old, it's time to venture out on your own to find a home and start a family of your own. And here we go. We're gonna be jumping right in. We are on the slopes of the Roaring Mountain. We must learn to hunt the prey animals here, mostly elk, but also mule deer and moose. You have to become a good hunter before you can persuade another wolf to become your mate. So as always, we have to start this out by uh, by hunting two elk. In fact, is that elk right down there straight away? I think I see or some pronghorn possibly, but I think those are elk in the distance. This might actually be a good chance to jump right in with a first hunt. And can I just say, like, look at these wide open spaces. Look how much visibility there is here. Like, I tend to really like the maps with a lot of visibility and yeah, this one is this one's gonna be cool. <laughs> I really think this is gonna be a cool one, and I'm very excited to check it out. But you know what? Uh, Lark's a smart wolf. He's not gonna pass up the chance for a good hunt. Oh, let me show you his stats as well. He's actually got plus two strength, but minus one speed and minus one health. And of course, he is the offspring of Aiden and Raven, and it looks like he's been assigned the 1342M designation. Uh, he well predates when those first started uh, being assigned, but uh, he's gotten one kind of a, a mid-range number, and of course he is two years old. Hmm, these 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 elk are gonna be a bit feisty, aren't they? We'll have to ooh. watch watch out, watch yourselves. Oh, the bull is after us. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not really what we want. He's still on us. Oh no, no, maybe this is not a good herd to chase. Good grief. Alright, uh, you know what? Um yeah, we 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 know when we've we, we, we know when this is not a good idea. Uh, I'm going to take that as a sign and we will uh, we'll head back off and uh, and maybe do some exploring first. There will be plenty of chances to hunt elk. Uh, it is the fall, so it's a little bit brown at present, but you know what? Uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing this map when it's all greened up, too. So just can imagine how beautiful this is going to be. We will be playing through a full litter here, so we will be finding a mate and raising pups. So we're going to kind of take it slow and just ex explore a little bit. Look at these funky looking rocks too. They got such sheer faces. I'm pretty sure there was a devlog talking about how the geology here is a little bit different. Uh, and some of the wildlife is also a little bit different. I don't know if we're going to smell any uh, unusual creatures yet, but worry not. I'm sure that in our time here, Lark will, uh, Lark will tangle with some of the new arrivals, uh, or maybe not arrivals, but new residents in this particular corner of Yellowstone. Uh, the other thing that's cool too is I think we can see it. Yeah, if you look at not the main map over here, but the map of Yellowstone on the side, you can actually see where the different maps are and how they intersect. So we are of course in the Roaring Mountain, which is up at the top there. Uh, actually 
really kind of peeking over the edge of the wilderness uh, up to the park border here. Uh, you can see the, where it says Yellowstone National Park, and then up here, the Absaraka Beartooth Wilderness. I'm going to say that name so very wrong. <laughs> it's interesting, though. That must be where all the Beartooth wolves are coming from. Uh, but then again, that map that's just to the uh, right of it there is actually Slough Creek. You can see where we started is basically the Slough Creek entry point, and the map below that is Amethyst Mountain. So it's very neat to see this map starting to fill up with uh, with the different with the different maps. Uh, I think they're still planning to do Towerfall too at some point, so there will hopefully be a fourth entry here at some point, and we'll see. I don't know if they I don't know if they have more Yellowstone maps planned after that, but it would be really interesting to see this continue to fill out with different locations that you could just jump between. Uh, now that we can move between maps, uh, it's, it's just, it's so, it's always so fun to see this world expand. <laughs> I, I, I know very clearly I have a, a bias towards this game, but like, man, it's just so good. I truly do think this game sets the standard for wildlife simulators. They really go above and beyond in so many ways. Uh, and it's very neat to see. Oh, we got a fox over here. Are you headed somewhere in particular? Nah, just strolling. He's just off on business of his own, it seems. We got some very cool mountains over there, and there is some human impacts here too. I know that they showed at one point the bridge in one of the devlogs. I think, I think, I think we're headed in that direction. I think they, ooh, we're headed in a stranger wolf is where we're headed. Cause I think the, um, the impact or the human the human impacts are more down here in this area down the Yellowstone River, which I believe is the same river that flows well, it's the one that flows through Slough Creek, I believe. I I think that Amethyst Mountain has the Lamar. I don't know how all the rivers connect. This is gonna make me go back and have to look at the, the geography of Yellowstone. I actually did do a video of that in like Google Earth, I think, uh, way back when, looking at looking around at the real locations. That was kind of fun. Maybe we'll have to do one of those here uh, and poke around uh, in, in Google Earth, Google Maps a little bit. But I believe that that canyon's down this way, so maybe we'll spend some time exploring the lower reaches of the map today. I, I do just want to spend some time running around looking at things. There's going to be less human stuff to look at, I think, than the likes of Lost River. But fear not, <laughs> there are plenty other features to explore. But we're going to take the beginning of this slow because this is a new map. And so I want to spend some time just running around, poking around, looking at things uh, and probably getting to know the locals and maybe getting our tail handed to us by the locals. But hopefully not. Surely they've not noticed me yet. Maybe we'll find some eligible pack wolves as well. Um, I do believe that they did some rebalancing recently in which uh, you now, as a male wolf, tend to have to seek out uh, females from packs. Those are bison. That is not anything we want anything to do with. <laughs> um, but I believe now you kind of have to seek out, uh, seek out female pack wolves. Look at this view. That is just so freaking pretty. Oh my goodness, these rocks really do make for, like, a spectacular lookout. I'm gonna have to try to not fall down them, though, because I will stand too close to the edge and, uh, <laughs> and go straight into the river. But yeah, I, I believe as a male wolf, we have to seek out female pack wolves, whereas females are more likely to have to seek out male dispersals. So it probably would behoove us to get to know the locals a little bit anyway. Certainly, well, no, I can't say it certainly can't hurt because uh, it can. Uh, the locals do have teeth after all. So we can just head down here though. Oh, I like, the river's very loud. I hope you can hear me over the river, but like, I just, mm, I, 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 it's very, it's very neat to have like a, I, I don't know. It's got a different feel to it. It's got, got a more fast and furious kind of, whoa. The eagles are like in the river too. It's got more of a fast and a furious vibe to it than the other um, other rivers. Those are pronghorn, right? Oh, I see something of interest here. Yeah, these are pronghorn. Not not really worth chasing down. We probably do want to get some kind of food, but this is pretty pretty interesting. Here we got a bridge. Is this the one they showed in the video? I believe it is. Look at this. 
I do like that we have some kind of casual human impacts too. Oh, suspension bridge don't look down. You know what? That's that's really fair. That is honestly very, very fair. Um, I like that we've got some of these more casual human impacts even in Yellowstone though. Uh, because there there are some human places in Yellowstone and it's, it's kind of neat to have that. I'm playing with fire in the name of a good thumbnail shot here because this is pretty cool. This is gonna get this is gonna get me absolutely just yeeted off of a cliff though, hundred percent it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, speaking of um, speaking of deaths, uh, I do want to make it clear we're gonna spend a little bit of time goofing around. Uh, we're not gonna take things too terribly serious at the start here. Uh, so if we die a few times, it's it's fine. We're not gonna start really counting those until we get to raise pups. And you'll see the reason for that eventually. <laughs> Probably in a later episode. I want to be able to fool around with some of the new features, but some of those new features can get a little bit dangerous. Uh, there was a path here, wasn't there? I'm pretty sure that there was. I just started wandering. I'm kind of just wandering around at this point, and I am very much going to get chased by Stranger Wolves soon if I'm not careful. Speaking of Pronghorn, they are they are just chilling. Can I trap one of you on the rocks here? Wolf surprise! This is not going to help my um this is not not at all going to help my uh my my elk hunt. Goodness sakes alive, we are dealing some damage here. No, you don't. You do not get to be fast! No! I've already bitten you enough! No! Go down! Go down! Go down! We gotta deal as much damage as we as we possibly can, as quickly as we possibly can. Okay, she's pretty hurt. We we are also fairly hurt. I don't know that I'm gonna wanna howl and mark this carcass, I've just realized, because again, stranger wolf territory. But this will be a nice snack, because I don't think we're gonna get one of our elk hunts in today. Yeah! We're just, oh dear. Oh no, oh my goodness. How are you still so fast? What the heck? How are you still so fast? You shouldn't be this fast, you're hurt. <laughs> I forgot how just freakishly fast the pronghorn are. Uh, it could also be that we are fairly, um, fa fairly low on, uh, our, on our own speed. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna get yourself stuck. You're gonna get yourself stuck in the water. That's gonna be bad for you. Oh, we can get a bite. We can get a bite. Come on. There we go. Pronghorn snack. That's not something too many of our wolves have actually pulled off. Uh, these guys are very much opportunistic meals. Uh, you do not get opportunity often, but when opportunity arises, one may as well seize it. Uh, anyway, I've once again distracted myself from the path. I wanted to go poking around because uh, I think some of this is stuff that was alluded to in some of the devlogs. It looks like there is a trail here, yeah. A little bit. And into this grove here. I like the cliffs. The cliffs are really pretty. And I think oh, there is a den here. <laughs> there there we can we can discover the den, but like look at this. This is so pretty. Oh, and I like these red bushes. I forget what they're called. I think the name has been said before and I can never remember what they are, but they, they're just really, really pretty. All right, let's head up this way. We'll keep following this trail. I don't know how far this trail actually goes. Yeah, look at this place. It's just always fun to run around and see all of the things. Yeah, I don't know where this will lead us. We may as well try to uh, try to follow this. Is this still the trail, or did we lose it? Did it go up here? It went up here. This might actually lead us back towards where we started. I think this might be kind of close to where we entered. Yeah, it looks like this is headed up towards Buff Buffalo Plateau is apparently where we were. Um, maybe we should vacate the... Oh no, this is another trail. Maybe we should follow this trail out of Stranger Wolf territory before somebody tries to take our tail off. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a real neat map. I think it, it's it's very exciting to see the world continuing to expand, and I think it's gonna it's gonna lend itself to a lot of interesting storytelling possibilities. I like that each of the maps does have a distinct feel to it as well, because it's like you know obviously Lost River is a pretty classic one in that it kind of treads a little bit farther into 
more, more fantastical territory. But uh, this is still a very distinct feel from Slough Creek and Amethyst Mountain now that we have that map in all seasons. We've, we've had that for a while, but now, now that it exists in all seasons, which is new to Wolf Quest 3 uh, as opposed to the previous game, it has a distinct feel from both Slough Creek and it seems from Roaring Mountain too. So I really like how they go about their design. I, I think they, they have a way of making things interesting, be it designing interesting locations or picking interesting locations from the real world. Uh, very cool to see. What is... Oh, Coyote, hello. These... These cliffs look cool. <laughs> this... this this is a pretty spectacular mountain here, I do have to say. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of space for climbing about. And that is always fun, and by fun I mean there is so much potential for me to throw myself to my inevitable demise. I am so certain that I'm going to do that one of these days and end up ending a story, and I'm going to be very, very sad about it, and I'm never going to live it down. Look at these boulders! That is so cool. <laughs> Yeah, again, it's it's features like this that like we don't really have anything quite like this in uh, in in any other map. I don't think I can climb the boulders. It looks like, but we don't really have like a boulder field like this. This is very distinct from anything else that we've had. I I don't know that I want to find out if I can hurl myself down the cliffs. Actually, no. The game has said I'm not allowed to hurl myself off the cliffs. Uh, th this is this is probably for the best if we're being completely honest. I, I would absolutely end up uh, breaking a leg in the boulder field. Oh, there's like a whole gully over here too. I bet that goes back to the river. Yeah. Tornado Drainage is an interesting name as well. Uh, there has been a tornado in Yellowstone, but I don't know if this is where it went through. I don't think it is. Uh, but it's a very cool name. I I'm very curious how that location got its name. Uh, but it looks as if... Ooh. What are you doing? Getting in my way, apparently. Is this another little trail? Oh, I might just be kind of like... Oh, wait! This looks like a trail. Yeah, this does look like a trail. Yeah, th this looks like it goes somewhere. I don't know if these are, are trails or stream beds or what, but there's a lot of a lot of these seem to be segmenting the landscape here. It could be a hiking trail, I suppose. There there are a lot of hiking trails out in the Yellowstone wilderness. Uh, I actually almost went on the Slough Creek Trail when I went to Yellowstone, but unfortunately that day it was thunderstorming and so I did not get to. But there, there is a picture somewhere that exists of Baby Jay standing at the uh, trailhead sign, and <laughs> I think I had a Wolf Quest shirt even back then, and I was so excited about it. Yeah, where does this take us? Hello? Who goes there? Who, who goes there? I guess we'll do a tail wag. This sounds like enemy music, though. Who are you? I Do I have name tags? Ah, I can... Ooh, okay, we've gotten closer than we need. Whoa, okay, I don't really want to fight you. I forgot that I had my name tags off. What? Who are you? Where are you from? We can actually look at our uh, known wolves properly here. Battlefield. Whoa. That's a heck of a name. It's a very cool name, but... These guys sound like they'd be no joke. I think we'll leave them be. I don't think Lark's a particularly aggressive wolf. Uh, I think he tends to be more more of a more of a chill guy. He he doesn't really want to he doesn't he doesn't really want to be going around constantly picking his fights. He's he wants to pick his fights carefully so that he doesn't have to fight too many of them. I think. Um, Oh, we've got a moose. This is certainly not a fight we want to be picking either. I just want to see where this trail goes. Why is this trail so filled with dangers? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is taking us back to the river, it looks like. Look at these canyons, too. We don't really have canyons like this anywhere. There's like a little segment of canyon at, um, uh, on, on Slough Creek. Oh, and there's a stream here. Uh, but yeah, there's like a little canyon that's right at the edge of the map, and I think it's right before this river actually leads here. Um, so I just, yeah, I like that the I like that the the geography of each place is so different. It brings something new to the table, even for the more grounded maps. Like you know, Lost River is very fun map. Um, I think it gets to 
get, gets to fool around with some cool concepts that wouldn't be feasible in the uh, in the Yellowstone maps. But like, man, I, I I really do think that they picked a great a great successor to the other maps. Uh, this is a very cool area of terrain to be able to run around, and you know, it's open wilderness. Uh, it's not quite as populous as Lost River. Um, but it's a very neat area of open wilderness, and it, it brings some unique elements to the table. Uh, and we are, goodness sakes, we are running out of stamina. We're going to have to find somewhere to sleep soon. That might be our priority here. This trail goes so much further than I thought it would, too. Like, holy smokes. Where are we going? All the way to the other corner of the map, apparently. Uh, look at these hills, though. Like, like just, just look at this. This is... I, I love it. <laughs> I love that we have like a proper canyon and to run along and to even go through potentially. Um, there is a whole new achievement set for this map as well, but if you guys didn't see that we got one earlier, there's quite a few of those to explore. So we might, might be doing a little bit of achievement hunting um, it, for the beginning here. I, some or, some achievements I like to get organically. Some of them are just not feasible to do, them, do in the course of a single run. And so some of them kind of will just happen whenever they happen. Uh, we will be incorporating this map into our regular rotations. So you may see some of our main legacy pop up here. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be hopping around between this and the two core maps and Lost River. Hi, Wilbur. <laughs> Wilbur's chilling, apparently. What do you think of this map? Wilbur seems to like it. Look at this, though. Oh, oh this is actually... This is a cool little spot. What am I hearing? Is there a waterfall over here? I think there's a waterfall over here. I think there's stranger wolf territory over here too. If not, oh, there absolutely is a waterfall. Look at this. Secrets back in the hills. Look at this. Look at this. We found a waterfall. That's pretty neat. Is there a secret behind the waterfall? No. No, no such things in Wolf Quest. <laughs> but that is very, very cool, and it leads down to this little open area by the look of it. Yeah, I think we've got like a little open plains down here, which is, is really cool. This little kind of flat floodplain. Is this what you would call a floodplain? Probably. I wonder if this floods in the spring seasons, actually. Yeah, a lot of Slough Creek floods, so I wonder if... um. I wonder if this area would, too. It kind of looks like it could, and that trail just keeps winding on and on. I really like this little flat spot. I shouldn't probably keep poking my nose deeper into... Stranger? Wolf territory? Box? Suspicious box? Box? Bear box? I should like to enter the bear box. I do not think I can enter the bear box, though. The bear box uh, seems to be wolf-proof as well. Hmm. Yeah, there's some surprises sprinkled through these hills. I... Ah, oh, man. I want to know where this trail goes, but I kind of think that we probably shouldn't be poking around too much back here in Stranger Wolf territory with no stamina. So maybe the best thing to do here would be to be he to head back a little ways, find somewhere maybe by the waterfall, but I think that's still in Stranger Wolf territory. Uh, but find somewhere to take a little bit of a snooze. And next time we can come back and explore this just a little bit further, see what lies at the end of the trail, and maybe venture further into some of the northern back country too and uh, start poking around. I do want to explore the wilderness beyond Yellowstone at some point as well. Uh, and of course, we do need to work on our regular hunting quest as well. That, uh, <laughs> that aggressive bull elk did kind of put us off our first hunt. Can we sleep by the waterfall? No, the waterfall's in Stranger Wolf territory. But what if I want the waterfall in my territory? Maybe we should maybe we should den by the waterfall. I don't know if there are any dens over here. This might not be the most suitable territory for it, uh, given that uh, it is pretty steep. But you know what? Maybe maybe some of these are south facing slopes. This is a pretty south facing slope. I think that's south is south facing is the one that they tend to den on. I think because uh, of the. Um, the the sun melts the snow on south facing slopes first uh comes springtime 
I believe is the logic behind it. I know they've talked about it before, but I think that's what it is. It's just a little bit warmer. Who goes there? Stranger wolves? Dispersal wolves, I think. Dispersal wolves? New friends? I don't think so. Oh. They don't seem the most angry. No, those are definitely other males. I just realized we can see it their name now. Who are you guys then? We have Battlefield Mill Creek. Interesting. Well, you are going to be nothing but rivals to me, so I think we'd best be on our way and find elsewhere to settle down for the night. Uh, and with that, I think we will go ahead and leave this episode off here for today. We're going to have a few more exploration episodes of just checking out the map and uh, seeing what cool things we can find here. Uh, so worry not, there will be much more Roaring Mountain to come. We'll have a lot more to explore. But we'll go ahead and we'll leave this off here for today because it is getting to be about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.